Here are a couple common uses of the EPB or emergency pressure bandage. I'm gonna have my good friend Corey step in. He's gonna have an open wound here on his arm. This could be just hamburger from road rash. It could be a laceration. It could be minor scrape, whatever. Again, this is so versatile. It can treat so many different things, but you're gonna treat an open wound generally the same way. The only difference is if it's a, a big bleed, you're gonna use this as a compression dressing and I'll show you the difference here right now. So, number one, non-major bleed. You just want this wound covered. You wanna protect that from any kind of bacteria or anything that's gonna get in there and you wanna apply a little pressure to help some of those capillaries stop bleeding, things like that. So the non-inherent part will go directly over that wound and you're simply gonna wrap that dressing, making sure everything's covered. You wanna make sure if the wound's right here, you're covered top, bottom, and of course both sides. Again, just protecting it and keeping as much stuff out of there as you can. Now I'm going pretty lightly, not so light that it can rotate, but light enough that it's not a lot of pressure there. He's not gonna feel any kind of numbness or anything like that. And again, we've got this super easy, simple elastic patch and you're done, you're good to go. Now, the difference between this and a more major bleed is simply the amount of compression or pressure you're gonna use when wrapping this up. So if this is more of a major bleed, you're gonna wanna maintain pressure over this as best you can. And again, one of the really cool things about this product are the Velcro strips in there. So you can let go of this and it's not gonna roll away from you. Keep that pressure on. And the difference between that light wrap and a good compression dressing, the trick to stretch, then wrap, stretch, then wrap, that's where you're gonna get that compression from, is a good hard stretch as you wrap this around. That's gonna create a lot of pressure directly over that wound for that major bleed. Again, you're gonna cover both sides, top and bottom, to make sure that's as, as protected as possible. And you're creating a good compression dressing when you give it a good hard stretch like this. Just like before, simplicity wins every time using the Velcro patch here and you're good to go, it's secure, it's not gonna unwind, and you've now created that good solid pressure dressing. All right, so I wanna do one more video of a couple bonus uses for the EPB. Make sure to check that out.